What's going on, everybody? Thank you for tuning on in. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for finding us here, man. Hope you guys can like and subscribe uh, as we continue to bring you uh, content throughout the week. And if you guys are a fan of the Tobin and Leroy radio show and you guys want to get some clips of that, go and click the link. That'll be in the description here to the Ticket Miami's YouTube page. And we are putting our, our on demand. I run it just like I did on this page. I'm running it there. I'm picking the clips. I'm editing the clips and uh, putting them on up there. So I believe if you liked uh, this page, you will love that page as well. So go subscribe there. Subscribe to the podcast as well. Appreciate it. That's all the, uh, the nitty gritty in the business that I want to get to there. So this was an interesting one. So Tyreek Hill is now getting, I would say probably, I would say like he's getting mocked nationally by people because he had the audacity to come out there and say that Tua Tungavailoa, his new quarterback, is more accurate than Patrick Mahomes. He was on his podcast, needed to be said, and was asked about the idea of he was just comparing the two of them and was asked about, you know, obviously arm strength is going to go to Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes got arguably the best arm in the league. You guys got a, got an absolute hoose on him, you know, top five for sure, and can throw from any angle. And I love watching Patrick Mahomes play football. I think if you don't like watching Patrick Mahomes play football, you should, as in the words of Mike, uh, Mike McDaniel, you should check your polls. Like, who doesn't like watching Patrick Mahomes play quarterback? The guy's absolutely dynamic and fun. Um, and has put a lot of people, you know, scrambling, trying to look for the guy who's going to be that. But Tua um, is such a national source of criticism for everything. And so for Tyreek Hill to come out and say something to the effect of Tua is more accurate, if I had to put them, uh, put them, you know, compare them, Patrick Mahomes got the arm strength, Tua's got the accuracy. And then he was asked by his co-host, well, what do you prefer, the guy with the big bomb or – putting it right there in the bread basket. And he's like, I want it right there in the bread basket. Me take it. I'll, I'll go 60. I'll take it. Um, and everybody is, is kind of just running crazy with this. And I don't know. I don't really understand it. First of all, like give me the, give me the wide receiver, the star wide receiver, right. Who gets paid all the money and goes to a team and is going to start talking ill upon the new quarterback. He's going to be like, you know what? He's not really in Patrick Mahomes class in any which way. And uh, I don't I don't think that's how Tyreek Hill is going to view this for a couple of reasons. One, he very clearly has um, a team petty season that's coming up for him where he is looking to show his importance to the Kansas City Chiefs, that they're going to be missing him, that he was more of a piece than they're giving him credit for more so than a um, than just it's Patrick Mahomes and. You know, he can do that with anybody. Like, I think Tyreek Hill looks at that and goes, no, 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 no. I did a lot of that for him. I made a lot of that happen for him. You guys are dismissing me. You guys are just making it seem like I'm going. It's very, it's almost like a very uh, uh, Jimmy Butler-esque type of dick disrespect, right? Like, it's like, oh, no, no, you guys think it's that anybody can do this and that you would want to be more settled with uh, a less personable guy like a Tobias Harris and I'm telling you that I'm going to Miami and we're going to do big things. You know, people said to Jimmy Butler, you're going to go to Miami, you're going to retire. No one's going to hear from you. And I think people are kind of treating Tyreek Hill the same way. Like, you're going to go to Miami, you're going to play with Tua Tagovailoa, and we're going to forget about you. We're not, going to, we're not going to talk about you like we talk about everybody else. Now, that being said, I have seen, like, the Dolphins receiving core is getting the respect, especially playing with Jalen Waddell. I do see that tandem and that grouping get a lot of respect. I think I saw... It was Pro Football Focus put out it, and I think it was of the top cores in the in the NFL. It was Bengals, Bucks, and then the Dolphins. So it's not like people are disrespecting Tyreek Hill and his talents. People know how good he is, but I do think that people think you're not going to make a difference there. And he is telling you, quite frankly, I disagree. I disagree. That's going to happen, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to make a big difference. And two is going to be good. Um talked a little bit this week about like the idea that Tua Tungavailoa is getting the support from this franchise that he is that was lacking last year that that wasn't there last year and I think the idea that you're getting that from Mike McDaniel but also getting it from a guy like Tyreek Hill because if anybody has the credibility on this team it's him you know maybe Xavier Howard Xavier Howard probably regarded as one of the best in his position. Well, I do seem uh, really disrespected in like these Madden rankings, which is kind of strange. But Xavier Howard, regarded by a lot of people, as one of the best cornerbacks in the league. 
um, the other guy who has like that clear cut, established hierarchy, bona fides, one of the best players in the league at his position, can't be debated, is Tyreek Hill. That's why it was important when that whole underthrow gate came out that he's like, hold on, Dolphins, I got this. Let me put the video out of the montage of him making the money throws. Uh, I think that goes a long way. I love the fact that he's got Mike McDaniel as his Twitter avatar, you know, because it definitely seemed like he went to Andy Reid and first of all saying like uh, Andy Reid wouldn't let me do, wouldn't let me, you know, I think it was like my grandfather was sick, wouldn't let me go see my grandfather. Um, Didn't feel like he was getting the respect that he deserved from the franchise, money-wise, production-wise, importance to the team. So I think that you see him embrace and, and, and wrap his arms around the personality of Mike McDaniel, the humanity of Mike McDaniel, and also the accuracy of Tua Tagovailoa really playing into his skill sets even more. Yeah, he's going to go with that personality. He's going to go with the idea of, like, I'm going to embrace everything these guys bring because I want to show that I was a big reason for Patrick Mahomes being as good as he is, and I was a big reason for the Chiefs being as good as they are, and not just they, I was part of their system. It's going to be an interesting thing to watch. It definitely will be. Because I think it'll be, I think it can be a, a little bit of both. I think that he can do great things down here, but this is also going to be a really, really tough division. This is going to be a really, really tough, uh, you know, especially with the Bills who have kind of owned the Dolphins over the last few years. Um, and this AFC seems absolutely stacked. So it's going to be fun to see like how does that 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 uh, that that petty race run there with uh, with the cheetah. And everything that goes on there. But this idea that, like, he should be criticized for it because he's backing his guy is dumb to me. Like, Devontae Adams said something similar to the uh, idea with uh, with Aaron Rodgers, where he's like, hey, Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, to be honest with you, the skill set's not that different. And people were going nutty about this. And I'm like, well, what? You know, like, give me the – give me the – and by the way, I feel like that is almost more of a uh, – if you want to talk about, like, which one's more of a shot. And I don't think – Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers had a bad relationship, but he was saying, like, you know, uncertainty of his future definitely was a, a, a deterrent for me. And then the idea that he is saying, oh, their skill set's not that different, the arm strength, all that. Um, that, to me, is more of a shot at your former guy than what Tyreek Hill is doing. Tyreek Hill is basically saying, hey, it's, you know, I, I Tua has this trait which I deem better than, than Patrick Mahomes. I know Patrick Mahomes can go out and do crazy things. Dude can throw it sideways. It's not like he's out here airmailing it like a like a like a rookie Josh Allen and is nowhere close to it. Like, but he his improvising, his razzle dazzle, all those type of plays, which are spectacular, I think that can be tough on a wide receiver. You know, it, it probably can be tough in certain spots on a wide receiver. So for Hill, he's probably looking at like, man, this guy, this this guy Tua, he's kind of getting to me out of sur- uh, uh, like a surgeon. So I just didn't think it was, uh, for me, I didn't think it was that, that uh, first of all, he's had his back the entire preseason, and he's got this new podcast out now, so he's going to say something. People are like, oh, is he saying it just for downloads? I don't think it's that crazy, man. I don't think it's that, if we know one thing about two, if there's one thing that people will always praise, it's going to be his accuracy. It's going to be his accuracy and and how his ball placement is. That's always been the thing about praise about him. People can talk about his arm strength all you want and um, durability and size and all that. People have never questioned Tua Tunga about Loa's accuracy. Like, let's not – we can sit here and you can have the fair questions about Tua, and that's fine. Do they make a mistake in taking Justin Herbert? All right, we'll, I'll, I'll sit here and we'll have that debate. Uh, does he have the arm strength? Is he big enough? Okay, we can sit here and have the debate. Nobody here who watches the Dolphins or, or has any questions about Tua questions the guy's – ability to place the football where he wants to his accuracy has never been a thing a question I honestly think the arm strength thing is an overrated thing like that was something that wasn't really ever talked about with him coming into the league I think maybe it came in a little bit behind the eight ball because the hip injury was probably a lot worse than we thought it was but that was never a thing where two was discussed oh he doesn't have the arm to be an NFL quarterback what with the, with how beautiful he was throwing the ball at Alabama, I just it was just never a thing that was ever ever brought up. So I like the fact that Tyreek Hill has had Tua Tagovailoa's back. I like the fact that the Miami Dolphins have this fueled up 
Tyreek Hill, who seems really keen on showing how important he was to, I think, the team that everybody really looked upon as the team to beat in the AFC for a lot of years. And he's saying, you guys lost a major piece, and it's going to hurt you. And it's going to be a big deal that you guys lost me, and it's going to be huge for the Dolphins that they have me. I mean, if you're not a Dolphin fan and you're not jacked up by having that kind of motivation on your side, like if you are a Dolphins and Heat fan, I think it's very, very Jimmy Butler-esque that what, what they have the potential of having here. Um, difference, obviously, is you know basketball, one player can maybe make a bigger difference, and he does have to rely on his QB. But he also has a coach here who knows how to get the best – uh, and knows how to get his best players the football, like he did with Debo Samuel in San Francisco. So I think you have to have a great faith in that as well. And I think that he probably digs that from Mike McDaniel. That's why he is on the Twitter picture, dude. That's how he's got it going. So shout out to the Cheetah. I like the fact that he's got uh, two is back in this whole thing.